Oh, oh hello. Uh, D Wally 19 here with some super crazy updates. Um, a lot has happened since my last video. Hopefully, my microphone is not picking up the wind, but we'll see. Uh, oh man, so much has changed. Long story short, got married. My wife and I had our kid. Our son is born. Grayson, shout out to Grayson, my son. Uh, he was just born last week. He's a week old. Crazy, 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 crazy. Uh, so a lot of vehicle changes. Um, so <laughs> I had the STI, right? My wife was driving a 2009 Accord Coupe. Wasn't a very, had a high mileage. Wasn't gonna work out with the family. I wanted her to have something safe. She'd always wanted a forerunner. So what did I do? I traded the STI in, got a good amount for it, and immediately went and bought a 2016 brand new uh, Toyota 4Runner SR5 Premium. Um, I'll do a video about that any later, but I just, anyway. So I was driving her Accord, which was, I thought I could do. Uh, no, it was awful. Hers was the four cylinder, not the V6 manual. I drove it for a long time and I was like, okay, this isn't gonna work. And then with the kid on the way, we wanted something with four doors in case I ever had to drive uh, our son. Um, and we just didn't want to deal with the Accord. So if he wasn't going to be in the Forerunner, we wanted something four doors. Long story short, the STI is gone. I know. But, you know, it's sad. But at the same time, it's not so sad because I have a son now and that's way more important. So I have a Forerunner. And then this, this beauty is my new ride. This is my new, my used, I got it used. This is a 2015 Ford Fiesta ST. And my gosh, you guys, I don't feel like I'm missing anything uh, besides some speed. Yeah, the STI was way faster, but besides that, my fun to drive factor is still super high with this car. I love it. Uh, I floor it and I'm getting 29, 30 miles to the gallon. Uh, it's just a blast. So I don't feel like I've lost anything switching to this. So I bought this car used one owner and had 10,000 miles walked out the door for 15,500 an incredible deal. Um, the forerunner is going to be, well, I'm going to make a whole nother video. The forerunner is just an expensive beast. Um, so we'll, I'll do a video about that. Jeez. Anyway, so this is my new ride. I freaking love it. I've already done a lot of things. I'm going to make videos for each, but just to go through them, um, I do. I did get the WeatherTech, uh, I can't remember, but the license plate holders with the protector. I also put some electrical tape around it. Um, in here, I put in the Sylvania XZE, I think is what they are, uh, high beams, which supposedly look like LEDs, but I'll show in a video they're not that great. Uh, but it's better than that the yellow halogen. It's more white and then in here. I did install the aux beam I think they're h11 LEDs, so uh, I did a video on that. I'll show more about that And I'm also planning on putting them in the fogs as well. These are my new I just put these on these are the new winter tires and wheels These are 15 inch wheels and these are Michelin X ice. They are Enzio wheels uh, I'll do a review and update on that. Uh, just quickly though, if you don't, you have to have a super thin uh, socket for this. It was I, oh, such a pain in the butt. Uh, what else did I do? Um, oh, I did install the Rally Armor mud flaps. Did those myself for the first time, so that was interesting. But once you get it down the first time, it's it was actually really easy to get the the next uh, the set, all the rest of them. And then in the rear. I went with the white, I think it looks sick. Uh, this is the first time I've seen the car with black wheels, and I can't decide if I like it better with the silver stock ones or with these, but uh, I was considering plasti dipping the stock ones or getting some black rims, but I don't know. I kind of like the silver wheels, kind of like contrasting with the black, and also I think the silver goes with the, the white rally armor. In the rear, I debadged the uh, Fiesta, so I just have the ST, and I think that's, oh, there's one more thing, I, oh, I, okay, so the one negative of this car, and literally the only negative, is the pedal placement. Pedal placement 
sucks. It just sucks. I don't know what Ford was thinking. This and the Focus, like it's too far back and it's too far space to the right. The, the accelerator from the, the brake. So I did install uh, a pedal spacer and I made a video for that. I don't know if you can see it. There it is, black right there. I'm almost considering putting another one there and maybe that will help. I mean, it's a lot closer, but I, I don't know. I also got a pedal that I'm gonna put on there, so we'll see. Um, so yeah, so a lot, a lot of changes for me, but I'm gonna do a video on why I don't feel like I'm missing anything out. This car was $15,000. Uh, compared to the STI, which was 35, and I literally feel like besides all-wheel drive and some speed, I'm not really missing my, uh, my, out on much. My drive is still just a blast, and you know I had, did this uh, for our son. Uh, we I wanted my wife to be in a safe car, and that's why I bought her the 4Runner. So or we bought the 4Runner or traded the STI for the 4Runner. So uh, so yeah, so big changes, uh, but I'm gonna have a lot more videos. I'm gonna start some vlogs. Uh, about being a, a dad, first time dad, and just, it's just crazy. Just so much has changed, but it's just been amazing. I love it. I wouldn't change a thing. I'm so happy to be with my wife and our son and everyone's healthy. And and I, and I still get to drive a pretty badass little car every day and have the forerunner for the family car. So thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to have lots of uh, updates. Hopefully I can start getting them out quicker. I know it's been, I've been awful. The past years, a lot's happened. So come me some slack. Come me some slack. Uh, thanks for watching. Diwali19 out.